Hello my friends! So, uh, this is a video, basically tutorial, about how to use Giveaway's website, especially since a lot of new features were added, and I've seen a lot of people having trouble in the comments, and also I see a lot of people using website and not utilizing all the features. So, in this video, I want to explain how this works, why it works, what it's for, I'm sure a lot of you heard about Giveaway's website, maybe not, of, not all of you are using it, so let me explain to you how everything works. If you are a master, if you know all the features and all the things, uh, you probably won't learn anything new, but if you're just joined, if you just registered on the website recently, you might learn something new, because there's a lot of feature. So let's start. This website started as a simple Giveaway's website. If you remember a couple years ago, I had a simple page where there was just one page and uh, you would be able to uh, enter your email uh, and uh, you, you would be entered into the giveaways. Like the old website, it was pretty ugly, simple, um, and I decided to make like more of this like social network, like hangout place for viewers and subscribers of the channel. So uh, I created this website, uh, but it grew. In the beginning, the only things it had was giveaways list that's the first features you you would you would be able to enter giveaways also it had uh <clears throat> i'm not sure if it even had free star coins button before i think it didn't have any of this you you just had the information uh actually no i think there was a free button and there was a redeem code button those were first two features so let me explain how this works free bonus you can receive from five to 15 or even more in the future star coins every hour if you click on this button so for me it's six amount of star coins you receive from the free bonus every hour depends on the level of your account you start as level one uh, if you go uh, to the missions and click on perks you'll be able to see what things you unlock as you level up your account as you see as level one you get a standard background, icon, white username color, free bonus, 5 star coins, low wheel chance, and a low free pack chance. So these are things that you can actually improve as you increase the level of your account. So let me explain every single thing of those. As you see, your banner is basically your profile link that is everywhere, in pack logs, in leaderboards, I'm gonna implement it in every single place where the name of people is displayed so it's gonna be everywhere so you can customize this but let's talk first about uh, wheel chance and free pack chance so as you see free bonus wait let's talk about free bonus first you start with five but every like five six seven levels you are it's gonna be increasing as you see you can see which levels you need to reach in order to increase your free bonus and you can get all the way up to 15 star coins every hour if you reach level 59 and so far it's gonna take a while for people to reach to that level but after people start reaching level 50 50 50 uh, like 59 60 I'm gonna add more levels I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna add more rewards so you can unlock basically each level gives you one background and one icon some levels can give you uh, username colors some levels can increase the chance for free pack or wheel so let me explain to you how this works so uh, the wheel chance everybody starts with a low wheel chance but at level 30 you'll be able to get to a high, higher level oh I already spin the wheel today okay let me fix this real quick all right so first of all let's talk about the prize wheel prize wheel you can spin it every day every 24 hours it resets at midnight uh, Eastern Standard Time you can win any reward from the wheel list and uh, on the wheel and the amount of star coins on each segment of the wheel depends on the level of your wheel and as you can read here to level up your wheel you just need to spin it for five days consecutively without missing a single day if you do it you're gonna level up your wheel to the next level there are some people with crazy wheel levels like for example hugo navarro is now number one and shada these two guys, I'm gonna be honest with you, they haven't missed a single spin since this feature was implemented. So you can count, it, it will take you around uh, 280 days 
it will take you 280 days to get to level 56 on your wheel. But it's totally worth it. It's not something, it's not like... If you're gonna be opening, uh, spinning the wheel every like few days, it's not gonna give you much star coins. The basic rewards are 10, 20, 50, and 100. But, as you see, this wheel is level 35. It's, it, it's gonna take time to get here, but look at these rewards. The minimum reward is 180. This is crazy. And the maximum reward is 610. And you can imagine the rewards of level 56, guys. Those people make thousands star coins every day just from the prize wheel. That is extremely cool. Also, you, you get your name on the leaderboard. Very impressive as well. There is a lot of people who are very dedicated to the wheel and getting a lot of star coins. But... You can make this wheel give you even better rewards. As you see, don't forget to, uh, to increase your luck of your wheel, level up your account to level 25. Let's see what happens when you level 25. Once you reach level 25, you are gonna be... Current wheel luck is gonna become from low to medium. And you can see that amount of maximum rewards on the wheel doubled. You have now two top rewards and three second to top rewards so the, the lock of your wheel increased rewards are the same there is four levels of rewards but you have one extra top reward and one extra second to top reward so you have much higher chance to get something really good you have much higher chance to roll higher reward but there is another level you can get up to the high wheel lock let's see how that looks like once you reach level 50 you are gonna have high wheel luck, which means you're gonna have even more. You're gonna have one extra of each again. So basically, half of the wheel are now insane rewards. You have very high chance to score this 610, 390, and it's gonna, it's gonna be even higher. Let's see. Let's see what we get. And we got 390. We wouldn't get it if your wheel, uh, you had low chance on the wheel. It, it's gonna take a while to reach these levels, but guys, it's so much worth it. Look at them star coins. All right, so this is the prize wheel. Let's let's talk about the free pack since it's already in the rewards. If you go to open packs, by the way, guys, you can open packs, and I'm gonna say it right now because I don't want any trouble with copyright. All these graphics materials belong to, uh, to Netherrealm and all associated companies. I'm just using it for community project. This is basically a community fan project. And I don't have any rights to any of the graphics on this website that are Mortal Kombat related. So just, just want to get it clear. So as you see, your banners are here. And I see a lot of people are still level 1 and using default banners. Like, I feel like they don't know that they can change it. They can level up. So let's talk about the free pack. Free pack is available every 4 hours, usually. During my live streams, I make it available every 5 minutes. And, uh, at level 1, you have a chance, a very small chance. Let, let's, uh, let me get, uh, let me get to, like, lower level and see what we can get. So, as level, for example, 10. I'm just changing my level so I can show you what, what, what are rewards on normal level. So, these are rewards, as you can see high chance to get a character so you can have low medium high and very high chance on the free pack so for the high chance you can see you have insane chances nine percent chance uh, to get bronze silver percent sex six percent chance to get silver a uh, point five percent to get a diamond and very high is gonna be one percent to get a diamond that's insane chance for a free pack and as you see, as, uh, as you start with way lower chance, you have 0.1% for the diamonds. Still people pull diamonds from a free pack, let me show you. It happens, it's, the chance is 1 out of a thousand, but it happens. But once you reach very high chance on the free pack, you're gonna be pulling those diamonds 1 of a hundred chance. It's 10 times chance increase. Look, people getting silvers, bronze, gold characters. I, there's There was a lot of people pulling diamonds, here we go. MK11 Sub Zero got Revenant Sub Zero from a free pack. Beautiful. So this is free pack. Basically, all these packs, uh, the packs from free, bronze, silver, and gold, and diamond, these packs are staying here forever. But packs like uh, Outworld Elite Pack, you can see they expire. So these packs are in rotation, just like in the actual game. So these packs will be coming in, coming out, and. Uh, 
I mean, they're gonna be back at some point, just like in the game, but these, you can be sure that diamond, gold, silver, bronze, and three packs are gonna stay. You can click on each pack and see what are the chances to get what. For example, uh, for the diamond pack... Let's see. I just wanna set my level to something a little bit higher, just, just for the testing purposes, I'm gonna reset it later. Uh, you can see, uh... Oh, look at these beautiful uh, people using nice, beautiful banners, guys. You can make your unique banner. So, Diamond Pack has one guaranteed character card. Basically, very comprehensive description on what are the chances to get stuff from each pack. 15% chance to get a diamond, 85% uh, chance to get a challenge gold card. So, that's cool. Alright. Yeah, that's, that's actually one of the best packs in the game. I think I should increase price for it. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. No, Art World Elite Pack is the best right now. You can also get gear and characters. Gear you can get from basically any pack. Characters you can get from packs that have characters. This is pack specifically for gear. So as you see, you're gonna get three gear pieces. For now, gear doesn't do much. You can just see it in your collection. If you go to your profile, you can see your characters, your full characters collection. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. You can see the power of your collection, all the good stuff. And if you go to your equipment, right now it doesn't affect anything, it's you just collect it for now. But I'm currently working on the uh, ability to equip equipment to your character so it can increase their power. So equipment is it's not going to be useless anymore. It's going to increase your power quite a lot. Alright, so yeah, my gear collection is actually pretty decent. I, I like it. It's pretty good. So let's talk about upgrading stuff while we're here. As you see, we have things that are called upgrade tokens. So what makes this different from the actual game is that on my website you can upgrade the tier of characters and gear. You can upgrade level obviously for characters but t upgrading tier you can see max tier so you can't upgrade. Epic is currently the max tier but if you for example have fully maxed out common or uncommon card it needs to be at fusion X for gear. See, right now I have a Fusion X common amulet. I can upgrade tier and, and it's gonna cost a certain amount of uh, upgrade tokens. Uh, if I click on it, as you see I have enough and it's maxed out so it's, it, it's active for me. Amulet? You successfully ranked it up. So let's, let's find my amulet now. Look at this, now my amulet is uncommon. Isn't this crazy? So you can, uh, why would you wanna do that? Because on common cards, you can, again, you can now find this amulet. Whenever your pack rolls on common card, there is going to be a chance you're going to get an amulet. The same for, for, for the characters. If you get your bronze character to a diamond, and you open diamond pack, you will have a chance if it rolls a diamond, now your bronze character that became diamond is going to be in the pool of diamonds. So that's pretty cool. So you can upgrade tier all the way, you can make common pieces all the way up to epic pieces, which is gonna be absolutely insane. I can't wait to see people actually do that. So how do you get upgrade tokens? If you uh, open a pack and you get a duplicate card, not just duplicate, the card that you already have maxed out, it will convert to upgrade tokens. Common cards convert to one upgrade token when you get uh, the card that you already have maxed out. Uh, uncommon, I think it's 2, rare is 5, and epic is 10. So if you, for example, have maxed out Wrath Hammer, and you roll another Wrath Hammer from the pack, it's gonna give you 10 upgrade tokens, so that's pretty cool. Also, I wanted to say something else. Yeah, so basically, equipment pack is a good way to farm them. As, as, as soon as you get all the common pieces maxed out, you're gonna be farming those upgrade tokens like crazy. Same with characters. Characters work exactly the same way. So far there's a little glitch, it shouldn't allow you, uh, now, now it would allow you to upgrade uh, diamond cards, but it's not actually, there. there is not supposed to be upgrade tier button near the diamonds cards, but you can level up your characters using level up cards, or another way to gain XP for your characters is doing quests, we're gonna get to it very soon. I'm gonna explain all the website guys, I started with the new features, so people can, uh, who are new to the website can learn new features faster. So as you see, you can have support cards here. I'm gonna change the names. These are not real names. I'm gonna change them. Don't worry. Support cards increase the power of your character. You can see exactly by how much. So this support card adds 7% to the power of your character, which is pretty cool. Uh, 
And yes, you can upgrade tier of your character. If you have fully maxed bronze card, I don't have any right now. But if I had a fully maxed out bronze card, Fusion X level 60, that's the requirement. If you have them at Fusion X level 60, I can spend 10 upgrade tokens to get this bronze beautiful monk to silver monk. And then do the same with silver again. Once you upgrade the tier of your character, that character is no longer considered bronze in the game. It's, it's gonna be considered silver for you, so it's gonna be inside silver packs, not bronze packs. Once you got all, for example, once you got all the bronze characters to silver, and you don't have a single bronze character left, the bronze pack is not gonna be giving you any characters. It will gonna be giving you upgrade tokens, because you get one upgrade token if there is no character found that satisfies pack's condition. So if you roll, if you open a bronze pack and roll a bronze card, you're gonna get upgrade token. You're not gonna get a character. So decide yourself if you wanna use it to farm upgrade tokens or if you want uh, to just switch to the higher level pack. That's that's all you decide, guys. This is this is some people said in the comments it became a game, and it is a game. So currently I'm working to the ability to add some gear to equip gear to characters. That's gonna be a lot of fun. All right, let's talk about another new feature. If you go to your profile, there is a button that's called Customize Banner. As you see, I'm currently level 50. I, I'm not actually level 50. I just set myself to level 50 so I can show you how this works. So there is each level, then you level up, you unlock extra banner and extra icon. As you see, if you level 50, you have quite a lot of banners to choose from. For example, I'm a huge fan of Jade, so I'm gonna select this Jade banner. I'm gonna save it. As you see, my banner changed. Now it has Jade on it. I can select the icon. I like Jade. But, for example, I'm not sure that this icon fits. Actually, it fits perfectly, but, for example, you can set any icon here. I want my Jade to be bloody, for the bloody hand. Let's do this. Oh my, yes. And now I want something that matches this beautiful arm. So I'm gonna select red color for my banner. And just like that. Bam! My red... Okay, that's, it doesn't look good at all. Okay, I'm gonna change change my color to this. Oh, this actually matches smashingly, and now I need something to match this. Uh... Here we go. I think it's pretty beautiful. Absolutely unique. There is thousands of combinations of icons and banners and colors you can do, so you can always create a unique banner that nobody else has. And remember, once you level up, more options you have. Actually, Melina's gear would look also good in this banner. Oh yeah, I found it. I found my new banner. Awesome. So how do you get XP? How do you level up your account? Let's talk about that. Another new feature. God damn it, it's gonna be a long video. I wanted it to be short, but I, I want to explain everything because a lot of people asking questions. So I, I, I'm gonna make this video that explains every single thing. So if you go to uh, main page and you go to uh, missions. So missions, this is how you get XP. There is three kinds of missions daily missions these missions refresh every day so once you redeemed uh, once you've done all your missions every day you need to wait to the next day to do them again you can get up to 150 xp a day from missions and some star coins some upgrade tokens level up cards support cards all the good stuff so you can do these missions every day you need to complete all these missions in order to uh complete the, the last mission is basically complete all missions so yeah it's pretty pretty self-explanatory here there's also special missions this that's the latest feature as you see special missions there is a there is a lot of possible uh special missions for example you can see here complete daily missions i need to complete 20 daily missions in order to get this reward uh, gain levels on diamond characters. Actually, I can go and complete it right now and let's redeem it. I'm gonna go to my... Uh, I can do it through quests, but I currently have some quests running. We're gonna talk about quests soon too, guys, so stick around. It's gonna be a very long video, but hopefully I'm gonna explain absolutely everything. So, if we go to characters, I can just... Uh, you can level up You can level up characters through quests or through just using level up cards. So, I, for example, I want my Day of the Dead Jade. I'm gonna level up her a couple times. One, two, three. I think that's uh, that's all I need to uh, to get uh, the reward. So let's go back to missions and see. I'm actually the next feature I'm gonna do is not gonna be gear. I mean, it's gonna be gear, and I'm gonna do notifications when the missions are complete. You're gonna have a pop up saying mission complete, so you can always know when you completed the mission. That's gonna make it way easier. So as you see, I gained some levels on my diamond characters, and now I can redeem this mission. I'm gonna get 30 XP. So the way these missions work, if you played 
Shadow Fight 3, there is quests in Shadow Fight 3. This is exactly copied from Shadow Fight 3 quests. I mean, it's, it's in a lot of games, it's a pretty common strategy to do uh, special missions. New missions regenerate every 6 hours. If you have 5 missions, it's the maximum amount you can have, so the missions are not gonna regenerate after you reach 5 missions. But once you complete them, it's gonna take 6 hours for each new mission to generate, so... You can technically have... Uh, do four missions every day easily and get some extra XP. Some missions are hard, some missions are easy. Uh, like for example, find diamond cards. It's it's not it's it's not the hardest mission, but it gives you a pretty good reward. You can basically get 150 XP just from one mission. That's pretty crazy. There is also achievements. Achievements is something uh, you can uh, basically keep getting all the time. That's uh, an infinite source of star coins. You just need to keep getting certain milestones. As you see, when you just start, when you just first open the game, you're probably gonna have everything at zero, which is fine. You're gonna level up fast, you're gonna grow your collection power and be able to level up your achievement. If each time you level up your achievement, you're gonna receive insane rewards. Achievements give you the most amount of star coins and XP, but also they are just one time. Once you leveled up, once, once you receive the rewards, you will have to reach the next level to receive the next reward. So it's not like you can uh, redeem these achievements every day. So make sure to uh, to get as, as high as possible. As you see, I, I reach number of spin wheels now achievement. I can redeem it and get myself a beautiful 200 XP. It reset me back to level 11 because I increased my level artificially. So it's fine. So uh, I, I can uh, increase, uh, level up this one too. And now I have all my achievements uh, basically on the maximum level possible. You can see which achievements are close to being completed and just work on those. As you see, free bonuses claimed. I can just claim four more bonuses to upgrade this achievement. I can do... Uh, I can get four new characters to get this achievement. Wow, that's actually a huge reward. That's a very huge reward. And perks, yeah, we already discussed this. So basically, all the new features we just discussed, guys, go customize your banner, level up your account. If you've been playing, if you've been using website for a while, I'm sure you can get decent amount of HP from achievements and get to like level 5, 10, 15, 20. The, the highest current level I think is level 28. If you go to leaderboards you can see uh, Gabriel Martinez. Uh, let's see where he is. I'm pretty sure he was on one of these leaderboards. Well, let's go, if you go look here we have... I'm so confused. Oh, here we go. He, he renamed himself to Black Mamba. He was Gabriel Martinez, but now he's Black Mamba. And he is level 28. That's the highest level so far. There's a few people very close to him. This guy, if you look, I can't I can't really see his achievements, but he has almost all the achievements at insane level. He is one of the most active people on this website, so that pays off to be very high level. And he, he gets to use this awesome Sonya banner. Look at this. Very, very shiny. Alright, so let's talk about some of the old features. There is watch video. You can watch video and get yourself 30 star coins. I'm not sure actually if I'm gonna keep this feature because honestly, uh, the videos are pretty long and boring and the revenue is just not worth it. So I might remove this option at all. I'm not sure yet. Or at least uh, increase the cooldown or reduce the reward because it's just, it's just not really worth it. You can enter giveaways, well this is obvious, so let me explain how giveaways work. First entry is always free, If you, you can uh, click enter giveaway, and uh, you're gonna watch a little ad. Yeah, so first entry, you will watch a video, any additional entries, you're not gonna be shown a video. So if you wanna add another entry, it's gonna be just instant. It's gonna, it, it, it costs 30 star coins. Actually, I'm gonna increase this in the next update of the website. This is gonna be more than 30, maybe 50, maybe even more, because there is so many ways to get star coins now. There is, there, it must be more expensive, guys, you have to agree. I think I'm gonna start with 50, so it's gonna be 50 soon. It's not gonna change much, but hopefully it will balance things out a little bit. So, if you enter the giveaway, it doesn't mean you get the price. It means, it's like a lottery. I feel like the lottery would be the more, uh, better word than a giveaway because only one person or number of winners can be more than one but uh, in this case only one person is gonna get uh, the, the reward which is 750 gems for Shadow Fight 3 giveaway as soon as the timer expires it's gonna be rolled random 
the, the person will be chosen at random, but the more entries you have, the higher chances you're gonna be. Uh, you can see each entry as a ticket, so basically you put all the tickets inside huge ball, you shake it and you, you pull out the random ticket. And the more tickets you have in the ball, obviously, the more chances you're gonna have to be picked, so the more entries you have, the higher chance of you winning so that makes sense to add additional entries if you want to increase your chances uh, there's actually gonna be a new Mortal Kombat account giveaway I'm gonna show it uh, I think it's gonna start on Monday it's gonna be an insane insane iOS account guys wait for I'm gonna make an announcement on Monday and I'm gonna show account off it's almost mixed out one of the viewers gave it away I'm gonna show it it's gonna be freaking beautiful so yeah this is how giveaways work uh, then there is features like suggest a team, you can uh, vote for a team, basically select uh, three characters you want me to play, just select a team, boom, 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 and then you submit it, and yeah, you, you're gonna watch another video, I'm sorry. Oh, Invisible Man, I'm actually gonna go see that movie, it looks amazing. So yeah, after you submit it your team uh, you can see the winning teams this week you can choose one of these teams to vote for uh because uh there it's a very high chance that teams that are already on top are going to be the winners so you can choose one of these teams to vote for or you can vote for your own team enough times you can vote every three hours so uh if you're very dedicated to see your team you can just vote every three hours for your team and hopefully other people will see that uh, will see it in the leaderboard and start, start voting for it too but as you see right now, we have uh, what's going to be... This is probably going to be the winner for this week because the week is almost over. Marshman, Kunjin, Boracho, Dragon Breath, and Shirai. Oh my god, this sounds like an amazing team. I, I can't wait to play it next week. That's going to be awesome. Alright, so uh, what else do we have here? Spin the prize wheel. Tier list. You can go to tier list and see which characters are currently considered the best in the game. As you see, MK11 Scorpion so far is number one. People vote for this. This is actually not just my opinion. It's opinion of the whole community. You can see there is insane amount of votes on every character. So you can see uh, this is actually a very comprehensive guide. So if you get, get a character from a pack and you're not sure how good he is, just come here and see. Assassin Jade is number two. Absolutely agree. Absolutely agree. Dark Emperor Liu Kang. Classic Liu Kang is be below Dark Emperor Liu Kang. What? That's insane. MK11 Jade, you can see so far, is the highest rated gold character. That's crazy. Well, it makes sense. It makes total sense. And the worst character so far is gonna be Ashtag. Sorry. Well, basically the bronze cards, obviously. But Silver Kotal Khan seems to be the worst silver. Interesting. Silver Dvora, Silver... Yeah, I agree with Silver Jackie and Dvora. They are garbage, absolute garbage. Yeah, this makes sense. This, this, is, this is a very good tool to use. You can also go rank characters. And you can basically vote for every single character from 1 to 10. And you can see uh, your uh, your rankings are going to influence uh, the score of a character. Right, what else do we have here? Uh, quests. Oh, quests. I almost forgot about quests. So I'm going to work on this too. It's, it's on my to-do list to add more quests, guys. So quests is the way to get experience and star coins and even cards. For your characters as you see i currently have three quests running so uh god that's a very bad way to show it all right i did a little cheating don't tell anybody so once the quests are complete you can claim the rewards and rewards this is the highest level quest this is 24 hour quests in hangout with shaggy the rewards are absolutely insane you are guaranteed to get a bonus card and you get 150 star coins from one quest that is incredible and you get 100,000 XP for each character. That's also absolutely incredible. So XP is the the fastest way to read to do the quests. What are my cats are doing? Being very noisy. You can watch a video to increase uh, the quest uh, to decrease quest duration and increase the rewards if you want to do this. Uh, wrong character select. There is character selected. There is there are some glitches sometimes, guys. I'm sorry. I'll fix it. I'll fix it. Alright, let's let's select the team. Who, who can we select? Let's go Jade. Uh this Jade, oh I need to level up this Jade. And I need 20k, so let's add Ronnie Katana, yes, okay. So you need to uh, to meet uh, the power requirements. 
All right. Sorry, there are glitches. God damn it. There is glitches when I actually want to show the video. Uh, or you can just select absolutely a uh, new quest. For example, I want to go for Shao Kahn's joint. Why, 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 why wouldn't I, right? And go for four-hour quest. The required power is pretty low, so you can send your gold or silver cards here. I'm gonna send my these three guys. Awesome. All right. Beautiful. You can start it, and as you see, it's gonna be over in four hours. So yeah, these are quests. Get XP, get some awesome star coins, and also bonus cards. The chance of the bonus card depends on the difficulty of the quest. Basically, hanging out with Shaggy 24 hours is guaranteed to give you a bonus card. Everything that's lower than that has a higher, lower chance, but there's always a chance to get a bonus card. You have account settings in your profile. You can turn on, uh, you can uh, change your username, so it doesn't have to be whatever it's uh, taken from your Gmail address. So your Gmail name doesn't have to be your name, you can change it to anything you want. So for me, it's Tyrant Sky YT. Because somebody took Star and Sky username, I'm not mad, I can just delete your account and ban you forever, but I will not do that because I'm fine. And you can turn on uh, notifications, if you're playing on Android or uh, PC, or any or, or Mac I think works too, everything except iOS. You can turn on notifications and you're gonna receive notifications on your phone whenever certain events happen. And uh, you, in order for this to work, you need to subscribe to web push notifications. So if the site prompts you to enable notifications, allow the site to send you notifications, you should say yes. Otherwise, you won't be able to receive these notifications. All right, so this is pretty much it, I think. There is news, well, it's obvious. Leaderboards, missions, do oh, donate. Okay, so during the live stream, you can donate through the giveaways website. And your donation is going to uh, come up on the screen. You can donate... Star coins, you can donate actual money. Now, if you donate star coins, it's gonna pop up and it's gonna play different animation and different uh, sound and different. Well, it's, it's just gonna pop up on the screen pretty fast. You can see the highest donators. You save gaming is killing it, absolutely killing it. Then you can donate actual money through PayPal or through your credit card. Now, if you donate money, Again, it's gonna pop up on the screen with awesome animation, awesome uh, sound, and it's gonna give you some star coins as a bonus, so you're rewarded for donating. You get insane 300 star coins for every dollar you donate, so you can just... If you're if you're feeling generous and want to support my channel and my website, and if you want to get yourself some star coins as well, you can kill two birds with one stone. Just just send something my way, I mean, I, I will really appreciate it. Thank you so much, guys. Alright, this is all the features we have so far. I have a lot and a lot of ideas for this website. But unfortunately, it's not been doing that great lately. Not many people are using it. Not as much as I anticipated. I'm gonna try to put more time and effort into it to make it more interesting for you guys. I will. I would love to see your suggestions and ideas in the comments. Thank you everybody for watching. I hope I answered most of your questions. Have a wonderful day. Subscribe for more and goodbye.